everyone, my name's Alex and I'm a physiotherapist from Physio Function and I'm going to be taking this level one different strokes exercise class today. So for those of you that are new here, level one classes are designed for individuals who may not have any movement in their affected arm or leg. It is a seated class, so there'll be no standing at all in this class. We do ask that you have somebody there to assist you with exercises as needed and supervise for safety. So this class is the third and final week in our upper body series. So we are going to be doing, similar to the previous weeks, a general warm up and then a circuit of exercises. But today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do two sets of each exercise as we go, working for a minute each with 30 seconds rest in between. So it's gonna be some exercises to work on your shoulder muscles, the muscles around your shoulder blades, um, as well as your the rest of your arms, your biceps and triceps, so these muscles in our upper arm as well. And then we're gonna go into a cool down. Now I will give some options to use some weights for these class exercises if you want to. So you could use something, um, some light resistance such as, um, I've got some water bottles, or you could have um, some tins of food, or if you have light hand weights, you could use them. Um, that way you can, if you would like to provide a bit of extra challenge to your unaffected side, then you can do. Um, but it's completely optional, so you can do the exercises without also. Okay, so let's get started. Sitting nice and tall in your chair, let's try and sit away from the back, both feet grounded onto the floor. Roll those shoulders back and down, long through your neck. Let's take three breaths in and out to start here. Big breath in. And out through your mouth. Try and let go of any tension that you have. Big breath in. And out. Good. One more. Big breath in. And out. Good, and then let's try and roll those shoulders backwards. Up, back and around. Try to loosen up those muscles and all that fascia connective tissue around your shoulders. They can get a bit stiff and stuck and sticky. Get those shoulder blades moving on your ribs a bit. Your shoulder blades can get quite stuck, especially if you're restricted with movement in your affected side. So it's really nice if you can give them a little bit of move, a move and a mobilize because that will then help with your arm movement. And let's change direction, forward and around. Just doing as much as you can on that affected side. Awesome guys, fantastic work. Good. Oh, you can might hear a bit of cracking, crunching, I can. Lovely. Okay, let's have our right arm down by our side. Other arm can be rested on your armrest, okay, or on your lap. We're gonna reach our right arm down, only as far as you can control. Now think of lengthening and bringing those left ribs up and away from your pelvis. So down here, the bony bit down at the bottom here, your pelvic bowl. Nice side body stretch. And come back up. Left arm down, right arm on your lap or on the arm of your chair. Let's bring that left arm to the floor. Right ribs coming up and away from your pelvis. Let your neck relax. And come back up, lovely. Right arm down. Lift those left ribs up and away from your pelvis for a nice side body stretch here. If you really struggle, you could be doing this with your hands on your lap. Back up to the middle to help with your balance. So, and to the left, right ribs coming up and away from your pelvis, option to have that arm down or on your lap, wherever is comfortable for you, let your neck relax. And back up, hands on your right knee. Let's turn from your waist to look over your right shoulder. Using these muscles in your tummy, trying not to pull on your arms, on your leg rather, really trying to use those abdominal muscles. And back to centre, hands on the left knee, let's turn to look over the left shoulder, turning from that waist. 
and back to the middle, lovely. Hands on the right knee, turn from the waist, look over your right shoulder. Back to the middle and to the left one more time. Turn to the left, really trying to get a nice gentle stretch through your tap, through your through your back, through your waist, and relax. Okay, let's start now by doing some arm movements. So hold your hands together in front. We're going to reach those arms forward and back, just gently, moving within your limits. Forward and back. Lovely work, guys. Trying to sit nice and tall in that chair. Lovely. Forward and back. Good. That's it. Do a couple more here. Awesome. Last one. And relax. Hands down. Let's bend those elbows up to our heart and down. That's it. Just trying to mobilize and move those arms. Good. Awesome work. Let's do a few more here. And we're gonna try and get our heart rate up a little bit. Good, one more. Fantastic. And now let's do some marching. So again, just moving your affected side as much as you can. I have a squeaky shoe. Lovely. Swing those arms, marching those legs. Just moving as much as you can. Amy's here, we're just trying to get that heart rate up. Get your breathing rate up a bit before we go into our circuit. So for our circuit, we're gonna do five exercises, doing them all twice, okay? Working for a minute each with 30 seconds rest in between. Awesome. That's it, keep it going. Yeah, keep that marching going. Good. And then let's try some side stepping. Moving this like alternately out to the side if you can. You can add a arm reach forward as we go. That's it, trying to keep ourselves moving. Awesome work. That's it guys, well done. Lovely. That's it. Keep it going, we're gonna do another 10 seconds. And then we'll get started. Good and relax. Lovely, well done guys. Grab a drink if you need one. I have to be mindful that I take equal drinks out of both, otherwise I'm going to be wonky. Okay. The first exercise we're going to do, we're going to think about putting our feet in a split stance. So that's one foot in front of the other. So we're going to start with our right foot forward, our left foot back. Trying to sit towards the edge of your chair if you can, okay? in good posture. Now if you need to for balance, you could have some pillows and things behind you, okay? Or if you can't sit towards the front of your chair, you could raise something up underneath your feet so you can get your feet down on the ground in this split position, so grounded. So it's really challenging, you could just have both feet flat on the floor, okay? But if you can, we're gonna have right foot forward, left foot back. We're gonna work on our left side. Now if this is your affected side, you could have your assistant helping you. We're gonna be punching forward, and pulling back, punch and back. So either you could help and support that affected side, okay, with your arm, um, and your assistant could always provide some extra support under your elbow, or you could have your other arm in your lap and your assistant is supporting your wrist under your arm and just guiding that movement forward and back. 
okay? Making sure with all of this, no one's ever pulling on your arm. I want you to try and do as much as you can. So if you have some movement in your shoulder, trying to initiate from that, from that shoulder blade, that pushing and pulling, because that will get your tummy muscles involved as well, which is really important. So you do as much as you can, and then your assistant helps you with the rest, or you help yourself with the rest. Try not to be completely passive. Try and get a bit of involvement if you can. If that's really difficult, just make sure you're thinking about the movement. You're thinking about making that left arm working. So you do one minute on the left, then we're going to swap over, do a minute on the right. Okay, so my stopwatch ready. We're going to go in three, two, one. So right leg forward, we're punching with the left, forward and back. Remember, you could be got your guiding if it's your effect side or your assistant is supporting and guiding. You could hold a hand weight if you want to. This is your unaffected side and you want a bit more of a challenge. Hold a weight. So this could be a bottle like me, it could be a tin of food. Okay, we'll add a bit of extra resistance. You'll be feeling it after a minute. If that's too much, then you can put it down and continue it out. So do whatever you would like. What's going to give you the challenge? What we're thinking about big push forward and back. We've got a little bit of rotation happening at your waist here. We're trying to get these tummy muscles involved. So we're working on not just our arms, but also our core, all these muscles in our trunk that help with stability, which will then help with our arm movement. We've got a nice stable base. It's much easier to move our limbs. And rest there, okay? So we're resting for 30 seconds. While you're resting, so grab a drink if you need, we're then gonna put our left leg forward, our right leg back, and then we're gonna repeat on the other side. So remember, if this is your unaffected side, you can use weight, you go without, punching, pushing, pushing, pulling. Or if it's your affected side, like the floor, you could be assisting. Or your assistant could help you support under elbow and wrist, guiding the movement. You're doing as much as you can with your shoulder. Okay, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Off we go, punching with our right arm. Pushing and pulling, punch. Really think about the shoulder blade moving as well. It's moving away from the middle, pulling back. Lovely. Push and pull, this is great guys, well done. Sit, trying to get some weight down through those feet as well. This is great because if you're away from the back of your chair, your feet are in split stance, this is gonna be challenging for your balance as well, especially with this movement. So it's a great all round exercise. With all of these, we're working, we are working our arms, but we're working lots of other muscles as well. And that's what we want. Because in daily life, we barely just use our arms. You wanna use, you'll always be using some stabilizing muscles in your trunk. You'll be having a balance, coordinate, so it's really important that our exercises reflect that. Good. And rest. Fantastic. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is a dumbbell row. Okay, but we can do that without dumbbells. Okay, we're going to do a row, but you could do it either both arms together, okay, or we could alternate again. So feet underneath your knees, both of them ground onto the floor. Try and get some weight down through your legs. Now, if you can, we're going to bend forwards a little bit, and then we're going to think about pulling those elbows back and down. So this is our row. Okay, if you want to add some resistance to your unaffected side, or if you have ability to um, hold something in both arms, you could put resistance in both hands. So remember, this could just be a can of food, it could be a wrist weight, it could be a light weight, or nothing. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we're pulling back with our elbows and forward. Okay, if that is too challenging, if that is too much of a balance challenge, I want you to have your hands forward. You're going to reach forward, then you're going to pull back with the elbows, squeeze back and down. Pull back so you could work there. Okay, just focusing on that elbows back, shoulders back together. So we're gonna go for one minute, pick your option, off we go. So I'm gonna show you here, but we're going back and down. Try and keep that tummy in as well. So back is straight. So from the side, if you keep going, I'm just gonna show you from the side here. Moving forward, but I'm keeping my back nice and straight. My tummy muscles are having to work. My neck is straight, so I'll pick up 
a point directly in front of me to look at. My neck is down, it's not up, okay? I'm trying to keep a really nice straight back here. That's it, really squeezing those shoulders back together. That's the focus. Lean back with the elbow, pull back with the elbows, shoulder blades back together. Nice and controlled. Could be holding your weights if you want to. Good. Let's do two more. Now we're resting. Good. And pause there. Fantastic. Okay, the next one, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna show you, if you were doing it with your hands together, pulling back, okay? And you wanted to add some resistance, you could do that with a weight, okay? We could be here, pulling that weight back, okay? Or you could hold it in both arms. But I'll show you this option, so hands together, pull back, so with and without a weight. Okay, so we're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. So we're pulling back, forward. So really focusing on that elbow back, shoulders back together. Good. Shoulders and elbows back. This is a really nice one for those muscles around your shoulder blade, which tend to be quite weak in a lot of us. So it's really important we work on these postural muscles in our back body. Because a lot of the time, we tend to be a bit tight and overactive in the muscles around the front of our shoulders and our front body. So to try and help with symmetry and stability and preventing shoulder pain um, and helping with movement, it's really important that we work on the muscles in the back. That's it, so pull shoulders, elbows and shoulders back together and then forward. Good. Well done guys, nearly there. Pull back and rest. Lovely. Okay, the next one we're doing is a shoulder press. So we're going to do one arm at a time here. Okay, so we're going to start with our right arm. Okay. We are pressing up and back. Okay, with here as well, I only want you to work in whatever range is available to you. So on your affected side especially, um, if you don't have much movement or if you need assistance, you can help support. We could just be lifting up to this 90, 90 degrees here, so up and down. Okay, again, having support, if your assistant's helping you, supporting, under, supporting your wrist and under your elbow, you're trying to join in, going up to that 90 degrees. You could lead and support with your elbow, they could help support your wrist. Just again, make sure you're guiding the movement, nothing, so no one's pulling on any shoulders. So we're going to start with our right, and then we're going to rest, then go on to our left. So again, option if you wanted to add some resistance, hold on to your hand weight. Oops. This one's a bit leaky, I might have to try the other one. <laughs> okay, getting wet the whole time otherwise. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. Remember, with or without resistance, we're pushing up and down. Remember, you're just working in whatever range is available to you. Try to keep nice and tall here as well. Remember really using your tummy to help stabilize. So remember if this is your affected arm, you're just working with whatever range is available, assisting the movement that's needed. If you're unaffected, just again, work in whatever range is available. Try and make sure you're sitting up tall here. If we're slouched, that will affect how high we can reach our arm. So it's really important that you're sitting nice and tall. Oh, there's a good shoulder burner. Got 15 seconds left. That's it, keep it going guys, well done. Remember, whoops. 15 seconds of counting. <laughs> That's my um, watch again, likes to talk to me throughout this. That's it, come on, let's do two more. Oh, come on, last one, feel the burn. And rest. Fantastic, okay. We're resting and then we're going to go on to our other side. So remember, we could just be working here if this is your affected side. Or if you're unaffected, you're going to be doing exactly what we did on the other side. Okie dokie. Right. Get yourselves ready. We're going to go in three, two, one. Off you go. So remember, we're working 
squatting up and down. So you're affected, trying to do as much of the movement as you can with your affected arm. If you're unaffected, we could be here again, just working with that shoulder press. That's it. You're doing whichever option is available to you. Important with both of them, I just want you to think about your posture and making sure you're staying nice and tall, really using those tummy muscles, those back muscles to keep yourself nice and upright. Awesome work, guys. You're doing really well. Got two exercises left after this, and then a cool down. Good, that's it. Keep it going. One more, and rest, fantastic. Oh, give everything a bit of a shake, no wiggle, that was a burner. The next one we're going to do is one working on our muscles at the back again, okay? So we're gonna have our hands down by our side. If you can, you could have your affected arm resting on your arm, rest of your chair would be the best if you can do, if it's unable to come down by your side. We're gonna think about squeezing our shoulders back together, palms forward. Now if it's available, we're gonna, whoops, give yourself a bit more room really. If it's available to you, we're squeezing back and we're lifting up into a T and back down. Now it might be that this is just available to you on your unaffected side. Okay. And then on your effective way, just when you think about the shoulder squeeze. Okay. You could even be here. So if you're on effective side, you've got no movement in your lower arm, we could be squeezing back and then just working on that unaffected side, but really focusing on that effective shoulder blade being back. Okay. So we're going to go for one minute, rest 30 seconds, and then go again. So we're going to go in three, two, one, okay, so I'm going to demo as if my left side's my affected side. But remember, if you've got a bit of movement in both your arms, we could be here, moving to wherever you were able to on that affected side. Okay, get all about just doing whatever you can and working within your limits and what's available to you. It's about finding your own level of challenge. And like we said in previous weeks is you could monitor this, you could write it down, write down what you were able to achieve in this class today. Like how many repetitions did you do? How did it feel? How hard was each exercise? Rate it out of 10. And then come back to this class again in future. Re-rate it, see if it's got any easier. That could be a really nice way of monitoring your progress. Fantastic, we're gonna rest. And then we're gonna go on the other side. So like we've said before with, um, with using challenge tasks and things, you could use these classes as a monitor of your progress. So write, like, write down yeah, how many reps you achieved, how difficult you found it out of 10. Write it down in a log. I always find keeping a diary is really useful, an exercise diary, um, to write your goals, write what you do, because then you can go back and you can reflect on it and look and see, see how far you've come. Okay, other side, off we go. So if this is your, if your affected side is on the, the right, might look like this, okay? Or we could be here. Good, so we're squeezing shoulders back and down together. Lifting if we have that available and down. Or if you want, you could just work here, shoulders back and down. Pick the option that works for you. Provides you that challenge. So we don't want anything to be too easy, but we want to try and think about something that you're keeping that good technique, because I want everything else working out on your arms. You don't want to be a wonky or lifting up from your waist or things. That's it. Good guys, we've got one more exercise after this, and then you are done. Awesome work. Really trying to wake up those postural muscles here. Fantastic. Okay, get yourselves a drink if you need one. I do after all this talking. Okay, 
the last exercise we're going to do is a push up into a bit of a modified downward dog, seated downward dog. So because we're just going to be using our lap, it's only going to be a little movement. So in this side, what we're going to be doing is sitting nice and tall, hands are going to be on our laps, okay? Feet are underneath our knees. We're going to be doing a push up, so we're going to bend those elbows and push. So focusing here on the bend and the push, we're just hinging out our hips here to, oh sorry, kick up, lower myself forward. So we're not collapsing in our backs, trying to keep our back tall. Up, and then up when we're up here, we're going to really squeeze those shoulder blades back together for our modified downward dog. Okay, so we're doing a push up into a shoulder blade squeeze. So it's a really little movement, but again, it's really nice to get those shoulder blades active. Okay, we're going to go for one minute in three, two, one, off we go. So we're pushing lower, push. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Really little movement. Lower that chest. Push up and away. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together. Good. Lower. Push. Squeeze shoulder blades back together. Push up. Shoulder blades. Awesome. Lower, push, maybe just working with whatever limits you can. Shoulder blades squeeze back together, relax. Push up, squeeze. Good, let's do one more. Push up, squeeze. Good, lovely. So it's almost a bit like a cat cow, but slightly different. <laughs> So again, just a lot of different, it's really subtle. So when you're in your downward dog, um, downward dog type modified um, exercise, it's a really little movement. You're thinking about your shoulder blades. So on your back, those two triangular bones on your rib cage, you're thinking about bringing them back together and down. So it's really subtle. It's not a big movement. Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time. Get yourselves ready, feet flat on the floor under your knees, nice and tall. Off we go. So we're lowering, pushing away, subtle squeeze back and down. Imagine you're trying to get your shoulder blades in your back pockets. Back and down, drawing that chest through. Good. Lower. Squeeze. Lower. Good. Squeeze. Lower down, back up, squeeze. Lovely. This is it, guys. Last one. Squeeze. Really good. So we've got 10 seconds left. Squeeze and rest there. Well done. Awesome work. Okay. We're gonna go into a short little cool down and then we are done. So lots of work around our shoulders today. So we're gonna stretch those ones out first. You can bring your right arm across, okay? We're just gonna gently bring our arm across the um, hold just above our elbow to feel a stretch down the back of that shoulder. Now, if this is really pinchy to you, I don't want you to push it, okay? So just go into whatever range is comfortable for you. you should be feeling a gentle stretch down the back of that arm there. Nice breaths in and out. Good, and then we're gonna change. So gently bring that arm across our body. Feel that stretch in, our, in our, the back of our shoulder. Again, just working with whatever range is available to you. If it's your weaker side, it might be just really gently holding it here, okay? Good, and then let's have our hands on our lap and we're just to slide them back as far as we can. If you're on affected side or if you've got the movement and ability on your affected side, we're gonna try and bring those arms down to the base of our back. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together. Or you're here if you have your unaffected side or your affected hand on your lap. 
Just really trying to open and widen those collarbones, squeeze those shoulder blades back and down to feel that chest stretch. Nice big breaths here. Lovely. Good work guys. And relax. Hold your hands together. Reach them down away from you. Round that upper back, okay? And then option to drop your head. So feel that stretch across your upper back and shoulder blades. Nice big breath. Lovely. And then let's have our arm in at our side. We're going to take our hand on our palm where the fingers meet the palm and we're just going to pull back for a wrist stretch. This is your affected side. You can have your hand on your lap. Again, fingers come in where the, the fingers meet the palm. Pull back for a wrist stretch. So if, you, um, if this is your unaffected side, you could ask your assistant to help you here. Good. We're going to repeat side so you can have your assistant support you. They can put their hand again, palm, where the fingers meet the palm. So you're not pulling back on these fingertips because these little joints can be quite, um, they're quite delicate because they're quite small. You don't want to be constantly pulling on them because it could hurt them. So pull back for a wrist stretch. Lovely. It's really nice, mate. We should really all stretch out our wrists every single day. Our hands do a lot for us. Good. And rest. Let's take one big breath in and out here. So you're going to breathe in through your nose, shrug those shoulders up. And out and let it all go. <sighs> Lovely. Give everybody a little wiggle and a shake. I always like to do that afterwards. <laughs> let all that tension go. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for this class. So as always, if you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any comments or feedback, leave them below or send us a message on the Different Strokes Facebook group. We welcome any feedback or any suggestions and ideas of things you would like us to include in these classes. The messages do get passed on to me. So yeah, please, if you've got anything you'd like to see, you would like me to include, then just let us know and I will do my best to incorporate that for you. Remember, we would recommend you doing another two to four classes a week to really get the most out of these. So. Um, if you were going to be doing um, some various classes, there's, there's loads of them on the um, Facebook group and on the Different Strokes YouTube page. So go and check them out. There's, we've been going for over a year now, so there's over 50 videos. Um, so there's lots of variety for you to add into your exercise routine. So you could do an upper body session today and then maybe later in the week do a lower body and then like a cardio or a core one. And then you get a really nice rounded workout um, throughout your week. All right, guys, I've talked enough. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. Take care and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks again. Bye.